Spirit come, Holy Spirit come down, come down. Holy Spirit come, Holy Spirit come down, come down. Oh, the sweetness of the mercy and grace in God's true ways come right here in this place. Bring a glimmer of the depths of God's Word. Bring understanding. God's plan be fulfilled. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come now. Come now. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come now. Come now. Holy Spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Father. Father. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Perla Villanueva. This is one of the three major feasts of the Church, Easter, Christmas, and Pentecost. And I know that Christmas and Easter have a lot of good uh, songs for it. We don't have a lot of good Pentecost songs for people to, to sing along. Uh, we, I, I know we have a little, but so we'll do a, a little bit of uh, multiple languages, just a little, and just to get ready for celebrating uh, Pentecost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. your spirit. My brothers and sisters, prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries First we say, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the splendor of your glory may shine forth upon us and that by the bright rays of the Holy Spirit, the light of your, of your light may inform the hearts of those born again by the, your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The whole world spoke the same language, using the same words. While the people were migrating in the east, they came upon a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, Come, let us mold bricks and harden them with fire. They used bricks for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the sky, so make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we shall be scattered all over the earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the people had built. Then the Lord said, If now, while they are one people, all speaking the same language, they have started to do this, Nothing will later stop them from doing whatever they presume to do. Let us then go down there and confuse their language so that one will not understand what another says. Thus the Lord scattered them from there all over the earth and they stopped building this city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the speech of all the world. It was from that place that he scattered them all over the earth. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away the breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your Spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees is not hope, for who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit, too, comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle them in the fire of your love. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and exclaimed, Let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. As scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from within him who believes in me. He said this in reference to the Spirit, that those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no Spirit yet, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. I can remember a time early in my working career when my boss told me that he'd put me in for a promotion. And I thought, great. And then time went on and I'm not hearing anything about it. You know, so there's this anticipation when he when he told me that. But then you know, when started to become, uh, maybe if it got through, because there's always the possibility. He put it in, but who knows what happened higher up in the organization. And I think anticipation 
it can it can really get to us sometime. You know, if we're if we know we're going on a vacation, yes, there's a lot of anticipation there, but we know the when. It's when we don't know the when that it can just drive us crazy. And I think that might have been what's, what was happening with the apostles in today's first reading. You know, today we're celebrating the vigil of Pentecost. It counts as the same mass. We fulfill our Sunday obligations, but it's a separate mass. It's a separate, I'm sorry, it's separate readings. Then we will celebrate and we will have tomorrow. And there's a few feasts that happens on Christmas, Easter, Pentecost, and even a couple others where there's a special vigil mass that just has different readings. And that happens here. So we're, we're, we're not yet there where the Holy Spirit came down on the apostles. And it's been probably about 10 days since Jesus ascended into heaven. And these guys are holed up. And Jesus told them, wait in Jerusalem. Don't leave. Wait for the promise. As we heard on the... Uh, the first reading for the Feast of the Ascension. So these guys are hanging around Jerusalem. But, you know, it hasn't been all that long since Jesus had been arrested and executed as a criminal. So they couldn't feel too secure being in Jerusalem, especially now that Jesus is gone again. So, you know, and as time wears on, I, I kind of wonder in my own mind, were they getting a little concerned about that when it happens might be slowly turning into an if it happens. You know, and there's other places in our lives. You know, oftentimes maybe a young girl, the couple's been to get dating together for a while, and the young girl thinks, yeah, we're probably going to get married. But he's not asking. And she's traditional enough that she's not going to go up and ask him. So, again, this when can become an if in that case. And that also can happen in our prayer life. And we often ask God for stuff in our prayer life. And it very easily can happen. You know, not easily, but every now and then we ask for something. And for whatever reason, you know, God does it. He fulfills our request relatively quickly. But sometimes it takes a little longer. And there may be a reason. I look back at one time Father John came and talked to our Knights of Columbus Council about deacons. And, and, uh, and I began thinking, well, maybe I, something I should consider. But so I started praying about it. You know, my prayer, Lord, is this what you want me to do? Is this what you want me to do? And I'm not really getting any positive vibes there. So eventually, after about a year and a half or so, I changed the prayer to what do you want me to do, Lord? And not long after that, Father John gave the hook to Fran and I and called us into his office. And I look back at it, and there's another answer to God's prayer, to our prayer sometime, and that could be yes, but not now. And when I look back on that particular time frame between when I first started praying, work really got hectic, and I found myself traveling a lot. And I was an accountant. We don't travel very much, but that particular year I racked up over 100,000 air miles. And so if I had been in formation at that time, it, it might not have worked out. And maybe God saw that in the future and said, yes, but not yet. Sometimes, though, God says no. And there are several reasons why God will say no. One, if it could possibly affect, or if he sees in his wisdom that it could affect our long-term salvation, God's going to say no. Because getting to heaven is far more important than anything we could possibly want here on earth. So if that's going to affect it, he's going to say no. Same thing if he knows that what we're asking can affect somebody else's uh, chance for salvation. God is not going to grant that prayer because as a loving father, he wants us with him forever. And there's a third time that he may say no, and that's if it will impinge on the free will of another person. I think many of us might experience this if we're praying for a, a child or a relative who has seemed to have strayed away from the faith. I think one of the greatest examples of this is St. Monica. The lady prayed for about 30 years that her son Augustine would eventually become, be baptized and become a Christian. But 
you know, and, and you know, eventually Augustine runs into St. Ambrose and there's a big conversion experience. Augustine was a big uh, fan, a big, he really uh, enjoyed or studied some of the ancient philosophers. And something about Ambrose's preaching struck him similar to some of these, these philosophers. And so Augustine started listening to him and then he started becoming more and more interested in Christianity to the point where he became baptized. But again, God never did anything to affect his free will. He still always had the choice. So keep in mind, if your prayers are not being answered, there could be a very good reason why. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, to him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and a life of the world to come. Amen. We come now with our needs before God, our Heavenly Father. For the church, that we may continue to bring the Spirit of Christ to the world, and to all who are searching for truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For peace throughout the world, that the spirit of peace will inspire world leaders to new avenues for resolving differences in the world, so that all may live in safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who graduated this year, may the Lord bless them and give them wisdom as they venture out into the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For growth in virtue, that the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, patience, generosity, faithfulness, and self-control may grow ever stronger in our hearts and manifest more constantly in our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all those who have been preparing to receive the sacraments during this time, that they are able to remain vigilant in their preparation and prayer as they continue on their journey towards sacraments later in the year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For vocations to the priesthood and all religious life, may the Holy Spirit enkindle the fire of God's love to those contemplating this life of service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are ill, may they feel the healing power of the risen Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they rejoice in the reward of everlasting life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we've come with our needs. Hear us all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh, Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Pour upon these gifts we, and the blessings of your spirit, we pray, O oh Lord, so that through them our church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for beginning, bringing your Paschal mystery through completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you have made adopted children by uniting them to the uh, to to your only begotten Son. That said Spirit, the same Spirit as the Church came to breathe to to birth openness to all peoples, the, the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Take holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, ascending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Do you merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Oh, you're not doing that. You can say that. Okay. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Let us Behold the Lamb of God, behold whom he takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy to receive the hand of the Lord, but only say the word in my service to you. Make us 
us truly wise. Let us pray. May these gifts which we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. So we have some announcements. As announced last week, Bishop Kevin Van of the Diocese of Orange has given permission for public masses to resume at the Feast of Corpus Christi. That's the weekend of June 13th and 14th. <clears throat> we are very excited to be able to worship in person again. St. Thomas More's opening for masses will come in phases. We will publicize our timeline for resuming masses on our social media and website. We do ask for your cooperation and patience as we work to welcome you back. The schedules of the rest of our live stream masses, drive up confession and Friday adoration from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. remain the same until that date at which time a new schedule will be posted. It is still not too late to send in your graduate's name and school to be included in mass on Sunday, June 7th, when we will be specially honoring all of our graduates. The deadline to submit names and schools is Monday, June 1st. That's this coming Monday. So if you have any students graduating this spring, 2020, please check the parish bulletin or website for information on sending in your students' information. And with that, please join us for a special evening of adoration for our graduates. On Friday, June 5th, from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m., we will host an hour of drive up adoration. We would like all of our families with graduates to please join us. Graduates, wear your cap and gown. And if you don't have a cap and gown, that's okay, join us anyway. This is just one small way that our parish family can support our many graduates. The Italian Catholic Federation is offering a $1,000 book award to a high school graduating senior attending college or university in the fall of 2020. Check the parish website or bulletin for details and requirements and the application. And stay tuned to our parish website, Facebook page, and bulletin for the most up-to-date information on upcoming parish news and events. And thank you and have a great week. So um, we also need to keep in mind all the the whole United States with what's going on. Uh, I know that it's it's starting to affect uh, Los Angeles. When I left uh, to come over here, things were getting a little terrible. And so we please pray for all of our country and uh, we have peace and uh, take care of one another. So please pray for them. So now let us pray for the um, St. Thomas, St. Michael. Michael, the Archangel. St. Michael, the Archangel, the Archangel, the Archangel, the Archangel the in battle, we are a safeguard and protection of the and snares of the devil. And God, our we humbly pray 
and he hath held the prince of the heavenly host by the power of hell, as has been called Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the souls of all men. And uh, our deacon will help us with a, uh, a, a Latin version of the end. The Mass is ended. Bow our heads, bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. And may the blessing of mighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Ita misa est. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. You set the earth on the foundation firm, not to be moved in all its ways. Hold it with oceans and robed it with light. Oh, bless the Lord. On his wings, Lord, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth.